Hey cats, my name is Paola, I'm the class of 2019, and I'm going to show you how we get down in Budapest, Hungary. So I'm a marketing and international business dual major, and I'm here with the Paul Business School, um, st studying at Corbinus University. So for those of you who aren't aware, there's actually a six-hour time difference here in Budapest, so um, I'm about to go to my 9.50 class. So this is kind of the entrance to the business school, and that's my beautiful friend Olivia, and we're about to get coffee before class. So I'm about to walk into one of my classes. Um, it's international business. It's about an hour and a half, so I'll check in with you guys later. So we just got out of class, and um, I didn't have time to get coffee earlier because I've been always late, so we're going to go do it now. So I just finished my second class of the day and I have about 40 minutes until my next one. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the business school and the abroad. Hi, I'm Monica Nemeth. I'm the program coordinator here at Corvinus ISP and I'm responsible for six U.S. universities. Woohoo! So speaking of money, a typical meal here will cost around 1,000 forints, which is equivalent to about $4, so it's really cheap to eat anywhere. So this is a typical classroom here at Corvinus. <laughs> hey, Alexandra. <laughs> I believe in you, Nash. So it's 2.45 and I'm finally done for the day, so I'm going to answer some questions while I walk home. I would definitely encourage everyone to at least apply to go abroad. Um, you can always decide not to go, but it's been the most amazing experience and I've only been here. <laughs> Lily, can you tell us how to say hi in Hungarian? See ya. So after a long debate, we decided that goulash is our favorite food here right now. It's like a meat and vegetable soup and it's so good. It's a great day to be a wildcat! Every day is a great day to be a wildcat! Woo! Uh, my favorite part about Budapest so far is probably the thermal baths located all around the city. Um, we're going to be going there later, so stay tuned. So a little more about me while we're back at the dorms. Last year I was an RA in Stoke. Um, I also work at admissions, and I'm an a so I joined Alpha Chi Omega freshman year, and I met so many amazing, cool people. Um, I would definitely recommend going Greek to anyone who... So in the admissions office, I work in the call center. So um, that's where like all the prospective students and their families call and ask questions, and I kind of help out there. So when I was applying to schools, I didn't really know what I was looking for, but uh, the second I stepped on UNH's campus, I fell in love with the people, the atmosphere, and I just knew it was for me. So public transportation is really popular here, um, and we got monthly passes!
two, three. So I just got a great question and yes, all majors can study abroad. It's just like depending on your schedule, you have to talk to your advisor about it and it's just different locations. So a quick couple things before I go. Um, this is what a typical room looks like. This is actually my sweet mate's room because all my roommates are taking power naps. So one of the things I haven't really touched upon yet is the fact that you get to travel on the weekends. So I only have classes from um, Monday through Thursday. So, so far I've been to Croatia and Poland uh, this past weekend where I visited Auschwitz. Um, and it was just an incredibly moving and super educational trip. But next weekend I have Oktoberfest planned, which is going to be really great. And then Barcelona and Greece and a bunch of other countries are coming up too. So I had such a great time showing you guys all around Budapest today, and I hope you guys consider studying abroad. Um, so I wanted to take this time to thank you, NH Social, for this opportunity.